Hello to the best friends and family on YouTube. Uh, today, I am just getting the brakes done on the Alteza. A buddy of mine came over and went over the car uh, with a fine tooth comb and uh, car needs nothing but brakes. Uh, the brake pads were very low. I'll show you, I'd show you, but ugh, they're all greasy. I'm doing this for you guys, but that's kind of what you can expect from a JDM is no brakes and uh, warped rotors. So the IS300 shares the same brakes as the Alteza. So I did this front driver side, because it's right hand drive, it's Alteza for you guys, just to make sure that she works and she works. So we're good to go. Uh, I also checked the wheel bearing while I was down there. Um, we checked it before, it was fine, but I just wanted to make sure when it, everything was off. So yeah, I'm gonna tackle this guy and I'll put a screenshot up for you guys for the torque specs. I'm following what, uh, I think it's like the service manual says and the caliper pin bolts are 25 foot pounds, I believe. And the caliper bracket to hub bolts are 85 foot pounds. Again, I'll put that up for you. But I'm gonna get going on this because it's late and this has to get done. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is how I'm compressing the caliper, just like that. There are better solutions out there, but this is the only tool I have. I should probably invest in a better one to get in between the Brembos on all the cars I have. So I'll probably be doing that. But for now, this is what I got. I am just gonna spin this. This works, I did it on the other side. So just be aware, if you do have this tool, it still will work for you. You just gotta angle it down. So of course use the old brake pad, not the new one. All right, so the rotor's off. Uh, it is taking away the meat here. There's a ridge. Uh, they're not terrible, but it's, it's about time to replace them. We're replacing with these bad boys. A uh, little more bite and they are vented. Of course, I'm gonna go over and uh, spray this with some Break clean and take the coating off that it comes with from factory and then throw it on the hub. All right, so the caliper bracket is on. The new brake pads are in, they're ceramic. Uh, pay attention to those brake pad clips too. They keep the pads spread apart as much as possible and grease the backs of them so it doesn't squeak and less vibration, less noise, that sort of thing. And I'm gonna go install this bad boy and clean up his glob of grease here. So the fronts are done. Uh, I might just end the video here. I'm not too sure yet. Rears are gonna be probably easier than the fronts because the caliper's smaller. Um, the rotors and pads are, again, the exact same as an IS300. Same process, but again, it'll probably be easier. So I'm probably just gonna end the video here for you. But just know that the brakes are the same. I'm gonna jump in this thing right now and bed the pads in, mate them basically to the rotor. And don't forget when you jump in the car again, reset the calipers, cause there's gonna be a space there. So if you're driving and you forget to do that and you have to slam on your brakes, you're gonna have no brakes. So make sure you pump the brakes so they're back up against the pad. So I'm gonna go bed these in and then get back, get back to you guys right after. All right, friends. So that drive went perfectly. Um, this car runs and drives like a brand new car. It's crazy. Um, the brake pads were so far gone though that I actually ended up having to take the cap off of the uh, brake uh, fluid reservoir and sucking some up so it didn't pressurize the whole system. It didn't go anywhere or burst something uh, just because the brake pads were that low. So it looks like they actually flushed the system before it came over here with new fluid. But the brake pads were nil. So I obviously had to take fluid out. Um, so just be aware of that. But um, that's all I have for you guys today, as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Um, and I know this is a quick video, but I just wanted to show all the Alteza owners out there. Or if you're thinking of getting one, that the brakes are the same as an IS300. Very easy job to do. Um, torque specs I will put in here, like I said, 
I followed what was online, service manual, 25 for the caliper pin bolts, and then 85 for the caliper bracket to hub bolts. And it was a little tricky to get the torque, torque wrench in there, but I managed. But um, Evo should be here anytime now. Um, it's in Canada. It actually would have been here already, but we were off um, to uh, we were off to the island, so uh, we weren't home. So it would have came here, and we wouldn't have been here. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, check out other videos on the channel. There's there's tons of this stuff on the channel. Um, I'm gonna be doing a vacuum uh, coolant flush on this thing real soon, real quick here, and installing this bad boy. So. Stay tuned. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you stick around. All right, everybody. Peace.